We made it to the saline Tesla. It's a saline Tesla prototype, or what is it exact? It's production. It's production. It's ready to go. It's ready to go, guys, and check this thing out. It's gorgeous. This thing's got no gears. It's a rocket. It just takes off. I'm going to take you through the details. Steve's got another interview going on right now. We got a quick interview with, with him on the Tesla. Take a look at the details of this car. It's gorgeous. Look, 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 look. We've gone custom sport in the Tesla with Steve Saline, guys. So there's the door panels. Can you, t can you tell me all the details that, that Steve has done to this car to customize it? Um, so what we've done, we started on the exterior. We did a full body kit, full aerodynamics package. Um, everything on, everything on, on the car is functional. Um, everything from the, the front fascia, which has a integrated uh, vents, da downforce vents, to the, the carbon ceramic brakes, to the rear spoiler. Uh, everything is functional. Uh, we've added bolstering to the seats inside. We've added uh, leather and Alcantara seats. Um, Coming around back, we've got the rear fascia with the carbon fiber diffuser. There it is, guys. Look at this. Look at this. Electric has gone bad. Bad, bad mamma jamma. That's it. It's a, it's a PG channel. As far as performance goes, uh, we, what we've done is we've reduced the weight. We've actually saved 75 pounds in just the brakes alone by going to carbon ceramic. Um, We've also re-geared the car, so the car, the car has an increased gear ratio. Oh, so it's even more powerful. So it's, it's, yeah, you've got a better acceleration, and because we've increased the gear ratio, you get a better range out of the car. So while we haven't increased peak horsepower, we've increased performance. What is it, What is the range on the car? Is, is there? Uh, I believe Tesla says 350 or 250 or something. I'm yeah. not, I'm not 100 yeah. sure on that. And guys, this is electric, man. You're not putting any gas in this thing, and you are cruising around. So look, 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 look. he's got the same brakes going on in the back right there. Oh, what's the price? The price starts. Yeah. This one. The there it is, guys. It is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. What 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 is the price on? Is the, there a set price? The price as it sits right now is 194,000. And how many are going to be made? Uh, right now, I I don't have a number. I'm, there there I'm, is I assume a production 500. Rate. 500. We make 500 of all the other ones, so I would assume 500. There you go, guys. Look at that. Look at the design on this car. This is truly Come around here. This is truly the future. So right here, this is the diffuser. This is the, the front. You got the carbon fiber front splitter. Air enters here and exits actually right here. Exits so there? If you bring her camera and you can see where it exits here. Comes up over the hood, which pushes extra downforce on the front of the car. And you need that. What, what is the top speed on this car? Is there a top speed on the car? Uh, we haven't. We're not really seeing All right, so they are not saying the top speed on the car, but we can imagine it's going to be impressive. <laughs> All right, so next we'll talk to Steve yeah, get and just get a, get a quick comment from him. But that is the Saline Tesla, guys, over here at Concourse d'Elegance. Did I do okay? So this is Sven from Saline, not Saline, from Tesla. And he said, no, that, Saline. from Saline? Yes. Are you officially from Saline? Yeah, I'm actually from Saline. Oh, I heard the accent. I figured you were from Tesla. No, no, no I'm from Germany, but I'm with Saline. Oh, I'm from Germany, too, but two generations out. Okay. <laughs> Here's Sven from from uh, Saline, and he said, "Did did you did I t did they tell you what happened with the gearbox?" I'm like, "No, tell us." Okay, so we we enhanced the performance of the car, and one of the measures that we took was to actually change the innards of the of the gearbox. So we made it a more efficient gearbox design, derived from uh, from our race box knowledge, from our race thing knowledge. Yes, so like a race gearbox, and uh, we we changed the ratio of the gearbox. So you get better acceleration. It's more efficient. So you can get more of the horsepower of the motor. You can get to the ground. More efficiency, more performance on a car that already doesn't have to shift gears. So this is, can I drive it? Sure. <laughs> I'm, I'm starting to see that to everybody now. It's, it's been working for me, but it's not going to work today. The car is here. I'm just playing around. But um, these guys are taking uh, racing to a whole new modern age. What about the cars now that are doing the indie, the, like they're indie cars, but they're electric? Oh, yeah. What Formula, is the circuit? Formula E. Formula E, guys. If you haven't seen Formula E, we've shared about that. And they're making great bounds in that also. And it's just like, pss, pss, and these things are flying. It's gorgeous. Electric is the future. It is the present. And here it is in a saline in a Tesla. Did, did I do good? Excellent. All right. Perfect. I, I, I guess Ben's uh, approval, so we're going to put this up for you guys. <laughs> because we got into a conversation about, you know, 
an electric car compared to a gas-powered car and the experience. And tell them what you did with the gearing to make it more of a feeling. Well, one of the common complaints that people have about electric cars is that you lose the, uh, the audio central feed, feedback. Get, we're, we're interviewing. Get out of here. Get out of here. You know this. You Okay. The, the, uh, so you What's don't it? get you don't get that audio feedback, and uh, you are not involved with the car as much as you would be right. with, so your, with the normal car. So we do a straight cut gear design on the car. So it sounds is, like what does it sound like when you're getting on it? It sounds like a Le Mans race car going down the Le, the Molson straight at full speed. So you're driving a Le Mans race car in a in a saline Tesla, and it's the only place you're going to get to do it. More tip, more very interesting history, and Max wants to mention how it ties in with the history, not only of the Ford Mustang, because you know, we gotta be tied in with the Ford Mustang somehow. Go ahead, take it, Max. So, uh, 64 and a half, Ford releases the Mustang. And I was born in August of 64, so I'm Perfect. a 64 and a half year model they too. Create, so that's the tie in where I get the tie-in. Okay, that's right. tie-in with you. Yeah, back to you. And we're both bald. So. Yeah, exactly, uh, good, and good looking, but go ahead. And great looking. Uh, so, creating a new, completely new car class, the pony car class. Right. So, a couple years later, Carroll Shelby comes out with his version. I know Carol. Well, I didn't know Carroll Shelby, but I know of Carroll right. Shelby, and I happen to have three Shelbys in the shop right now. I'm wor- no Celine's yet, but I'm working on that. That's anyway, fine. That's sorry, fine. I jumped I won't in. Hold it against you. I thank you. Go back to your history. Sorry. Uh, here we are, 2012. Tesla comes out with their Model S. A couple years later, Steve Celine. So basically, we are living history right now, mm-hmm. and we're reporting on it. So get excited, people, because it's all happening right now. It's the wave of the future and it's in your lifetime. Molly Saline. Woo! Remember we saw her at the 50th anniversary? She's here too. Yep, was unveiling that... the Tesla tomorrow. Was, Woo! That, was that a quick interview? It was quick. Boom, see I'm getting really good. Yeah. <laughs> we're on. Again, here I am with Steve, but this time we're not a Laguna Seca looking at a Mustang. We're looking at a Saline Tesla. Again, you're taking it to a whole new level. And there's no, right now there's no amount that you're gonna make. You, don't, you haven't got a set production? No. No? And the reason you're going after Tesla is why? And bring it in, will you? What is the reason that you decided to do Tesla? You choose car, specific cars, obviously. Yeah, well, it, and we're looking at uh, uh, electric cars is not a fad. It is not a fad. It is a trend and it is here to stay. Amen. And we, we feel that the time is right using our knowledge and our past history to to take the next generation of electric cars into a higher performance level. Once again, Steve is thinking for the future and he's now working with Tesla to create this beautiful car. And the price is 190, am I right? No, the, What's the uh, asking price? The, the price is will start at 150,000. 150,000 yeah. and then it can, it can be more options to yeah, it? Yeah, there's some, some options. <laughs> right. And I understand you changed the gearing. I found out from your uh, your colleagues that you changed the gearing to make it feel more like a race car rather than an electric car. We've been able to affect the drivetrain. you got to come in closer to Steve yep. here. Steve, no Steve, Steve talks a little bit lower than me. <laughs> yeah, 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 right Sorry. So we've been able to to change the drivetrain. Right. We are offering a max grip uh, differential for better traction. We've changed the software uh, program for better uh, uh, ABS and uh, traction control. Um, it must be like riding a rail. It is. It, it is really an amazing experience, yeah. and and what we're able to do is that you really have a a, a very um, good handling car yeah. and it accelerates oh, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, because there's no uh, gear. Well, there's gearing, but it's just like boom. But and then because of the gearing change and the way that we've done it, is one of the cool things is, is the sound it makes. Yeah. So, well, I talked to Molly, yeah. and she did say I could come visit your yeah. your, your, your yeah. headquarters. Yeah. Is it a chance I could drive one? Maybe. <laughs> if, if you're good. If I'm good? Yeah. All right, that could be a problem. Okay. We're going to be back tomorrow with Steve and watching the whole announcement go off tomorrow at 11 o'clock tomorrow morning. Yes. It's a very exciting time. I thank you for the invite, sir. Thank you. And it's always a pleasure. And then once again, Steve Saline is cutting... Um, cutting a line and making things happen and sporting up beautiful cars and making them even more beautiful. And here we are now with the Saline Tesla. Look at this thing. Is this thing gorgeous or what?